Today's telecast is being presented live from Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena. And Bricks, we've got some major star sightings today. Oh, look, there's Tom Shanks, and there's Tyler Scary, and oh, oh, that's Jennifer Gorings. Wow, <laughs> are those things real or fake, you think, Grim? Well, if you're talking about those two big chihuahuas she's holding, yep, they look real to me, Pop. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down green street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. He just got crushed! Second down and a lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. for three yards. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open feet. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade, Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot, hot one, hot two. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. Second down and long. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. First down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. 
The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because and the defense gets another pick. This guy's a brick shithouse. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And that's a catch for a ten yard gain. Second down and inches. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburner. Oh, look at this guy break tackle. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Look, he might catch him. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Shave a few days off his life. First down and six. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. <laughs> And that'll be second and eight to go. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. And that'll be second. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> 
second down and two. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than complete. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. <laughs> Second down and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and this game is up for grabs. And that'll bring up third and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First and four. And that'll be second and eight to go. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And that'll bring up third and one. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. They don't need much here. Looks like they're going for it. Wow! The perfect pass and the score! Uh, the Stanford team doesn't translate quite as well in normal gravity, but he's doing his best. You could do. Your dancing is like a death rattle of an overdose meth addict. I uh, owe you an apology, Bricks. It does hurt when Junior's mean. Well, let's start a support group, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And a 
It's first and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hey. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Third down and six. One speed, one speed. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. Hey, hey, don't eat him. Maybe. Not Maybe. until he's cooked. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Hot. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Well, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it and the ball hits the field incomplete he threw it when no one could catch it some things like that in the quarterback third down and well good luck I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic what A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up. Now. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First down and three. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. He just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> and there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Second down and nine. 
Hot one, hot two. Hot two. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down in a very lot. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that's good, man! You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! It's good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turn on the light. And so, that's the two-minute warning. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has a big ball. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money. And that'll be their final timeout. And it's first and ten. Was almost 
almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Man, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the... Oh, with a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. It helps. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, with a punishing hit. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> The offense defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Mm. That's bleak, Bricks. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages.
And that'll be second down and four. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to... Oh, Scandalous Dan just destroyed the opposition today and win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How is it Scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Down my mouth. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.